Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Boson Protocol, basically all the updates that have come. If you like these kinds of videos, you definitely like, comment, subscribe, check out our other socials and our Patreon as well so you can get access to early news and research as it's coming out, as well as our Discord when that should be finished because it's almost there. It's privately launched and the public is coming soon. It's not financial advice. We don't accept liabilities for loss that you might incur and everything here is strictly for news and research purposes. With all these things in mind, you'll be able to enjoy the subject of our next video which is boson bam so we got boson it's down i'm just giving you guys a little update because people have been asking for it and i feel like uh i feel like it's time to fucking give it to them as you can see we're down from the all-time all-time high that we saw uh roughly in november and more or less the whole market is kind of down but that's that's part of the game right baby so I noticed they increased the supply, so they diluted the supply recently, but it's not that big of a deal because the market cap also went up. So it didn't really affect it too much. And that's something that's kind of important when you're when you're getting into a project like this, because a lot of the time when they dilute the supply, it'll hurt the tokenomics because they release either too much or too little and it, it just messes with the price. You know, so the fact is, is they kept it relatively fair to its market cap value, so that way it doesn't overly shoot off. And I would say that this could be a decent time to load up the dip in my opinion. This is where I would load up the dip personally, but for you guys, you know what I mean? It's, it's up to you whether or not you think that, that it's a good time. As you can see, launching the Boson Protocol Gallery. So there's a glass suit from Dolce & Gabbana, and this came out recently, and it's basically selling for 351 ETH, or $1 million, so or actually rather it's acquired. Oh, excuse me, I misread that. So Boson Protocol made NFT history by acquiring the glass suit from Dolce & Gabbana, meaning they bought it for $1 million. Meaning Dolce & Gabbana has already gotten involved into NFTs and they sold a glass suit. And basically what they're saying is that this could become a big tidal wave of interest into the metaverse and NFT wearables from some of the largest brands because you know i mean dolce is huge and the fact is is that you know what i mean like this is a one million dollar suit that they just bought and i'm just gonna mention that again like like that's huge that's huge because they put in a million dollars to a digital suit that's not something that means nothing that means something right and there's something that I'm going to have to reconfirm later, but I was looking specifically to see if Luxo was directly mentioned with Dolce & Gabbana, but I did not get that link yet, but I will say this. I understand that Luxo is doing a large part of uh, virtual fashion, and that's pretty much what their biggest shtick is, so to speak, and I wouldn't be surprised to see dematerialized... Uh, dematerialized and Luxo do a few projects together with Boson. And that was more or less just something that I wanted to bring up because I know that Luxo has been in the shadows locking down partnerships with multiple fashion brands, but this isn't something that's big in headlines yet simply because they have non-disclosure agreements, so they can't really let too much out. You know what I mean? Because if you see Nike and all these big brands with Luxo, you know, like that's, 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 a big sign you know what i mean they don't want people to have too much of a sign but i'm not going to get too much into the speculation of luxo and boson being together or working together or doing anything together yet because it's not officially out but don't be surprised if you see it in the future boson and luxo doing something together but we're going to put a pin in that so next thing that's important is boson's protocols governance strategy and our upcoming signaling DAO. so it just means that soon boson is going to have a, their own DAO. they're trying to create a DAO, and they're trying to create a decentralized autonomous organization to basically run their shit, so to speak and they're coming up with different approaches for governance but i felt like it was important to mention that they are coming up with a DAO, and this is something that is relatively big and we'll see where their DAO goes. But most importantly, the main thing too is, this is the next thing that I wanted to say, right? So in the MasterCard newsroom, guess who potentially partnered up with MasterCard now? So it's looking like MasterCard and Boson Protocol may have started something together. Meaning that with Nifty Key, 
and Boson Protocol, MasterCard makes its first entry into the NFT slash crypto space. And it's a pretty big deal simply because MasterCard had to respond to Visa and then to respond to Visa, this is where they went. They went with basically the boson, so to speak. They went with this kind of approach to things, right? And this also is important because if MasterCard is responding to Visa, then technically speaking, this is gonna become something much bigger than just boson protocol because they want people to basically say, or they basically want to say like, hey, we're in a potential partnership together now, and we're going to be using the Visa's large, uh, Visa, the MasterCard's large network of money and transaction payments, and we're going to be integrating it with the Boson e-commerce. So that's definitely, definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, if MasterCard has to get behind a crypto and they chose Boson, that's, a pretty big deal as you can see here nifty key powered by boson protocol has been selected for mastercard start path and their global engagement program for some of the most innovative banks and fintech startups in the world so boson is looking more and more serious they look like uh their whole i guess their building period where they were silently putting together partners and mentioning hey on twitter we're going to start announcing shit. it looks like it's starting to pay off because this right here is just a sign that more partners are gonna come because MasterCard isn't small. Now, I'm pretty sure Visa is bigger than MasterCard. Like I'm 90% sure of that. But regardless, this is a good start for MasterCard into the crypto space because A, they chose a solid project for that, for NFT redemption and all these things. So they, they chose a good project to get behind. But also the fact that it's not a small company. Like this is probably one of the most notable partnerships that has been set with MasterCard and 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 Boson. So it's or, or yeah, for both rather, because you know what I mean. Like like MasterCard on its own is awesome. like it's pretty big, and Boson in itself, I believe in. And the fact that they're two together it just means that there's a very solid chance that it'll continue to do well. So that's my opinion. I figured I'd let you guys know that and all these things will be lift, uh, linked in the sources in our Discord and, you know, I mean in our YouTube. But um, that's more or less what I wanted to talk about today. And another thing too that I wanted to mention was they uh, their mainnet is officially complete and they're working on their landing page. And, you know, I might as well say like, hey, they were at uh, NYC and NFT NYC, which is where Fabian went to speak recently, roughly around the same time too. So, I mean, that's a pretty big deal because the Boson team was in the same place as the Luxo team, roughly around the time where all these NFTs are popping off or all these like new platforms for NFTs are being explained and popping off on a, on a news level. So I think it's more possible to say that the speculation of Luxo and Boson working together in the future is more than more than a possibility simply because they were speaking at the same events they're targeting the same markets and they're both working in nfts and uh, redemption of nfts and that space so i'm going to say it again obviously it's speculation but boson and luxo i could see a very likely possibility of those two platforms working together so i figure i would like to be one of the first to say it and definitely don't want to be the last one to say it but when it happens we're going to see we're going to see if it was really uh, if my speculation was on the money so to speak and um i guess one of the other things too that i wanted to mention was this as well half you had you caught me half searching also to see if i could confirm luxo and dolce and gabbana but i might have to do deep research for that and I'll bring that to you guys on another video. But regardless, this is another thing that I wanted to say as an Easter egg was this. Someone took one of our videos, thank you so much, and they posted it on Cyber, Cyber Bump. And it's pretty cool because this is a time now where our videos are starting to show up on multiple news sites. And it makes me realize like, okay, A, people like our videos, but also B, like 
people are going out there and sharing it. We're becoming one of those news sources now that people are like, oh, anti hedge said something. Let's go, let's go share it. Let's go watch it. And not to say that we weren't that because I know a lot of people love our channel and I like what I put out. I stand by what I put out, but it just gives me another positive affirmation when I see when I'm Googling something about a project and I click a link because it says, oh, Boson Protocol Massive Bullish Updates. Because I'm like, all right, let's 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 see if there's something to this article. And I click it and I see a video of me about to put out another, or putting out an old video rather, right? So it's kind of cool to be like, oh, shit, my shit's starting to show up on the search engines, like in the main, main fucking searches. So that's pretty fucking awesome. And for that, you know, I'm going to wrap up this video and say thank you guys so much for A, sharing my stuff, A, being a part of the, uh, A, sharing the stuff, B, being part of the community, C, just, you know, supporting us throughout this whole process, you know, and, and, you know, thank you so much. And we hope, we hope to see more of you guys in the future on our road to 10K followers. And I guess we'll wrap up this video before I get too mushy. Happy New Year, guys. Happy holidays. Wishing every one of you guys individually the best. And if you're taking the time to watch this video, thank you so much. Take care.